200 years ago, this Napoleonic fort was built in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to protect France from invasion. Now it is home to a new kind of battle. Six teams of modern day warriors are facing one another in a tournament that tests wit, strength, and courage. But who will emerge victorious? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Are you ready for this? Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge, where six teams will be pushed to their very limits and beyond. Those teams don't know what challenges they face, and time is never on their side in this incredible arena. So let's meet today's teams. We are the Yellow Scorpions and we are here to win. I will definitely step up where my team needs me. I'd say my main strength is my height and also my speed. We're going to take the fort by storm and we're going to win the competition. I think we've got the great potential. We can go all the way. I'm an OK loser, but I really do want to win. As long as we all communicate, we could get the job done and reach the goal. As far as I'm concerned, fear it is weakness leaving your body. Yellow Scorpions meet Red Vipers in the very first battle of the tournament. Young warriors, are you ready for battle? Yeah! Right. Louis, do the scorpions have enough sting in their tail to beat the vipers? Of course we do. Well, vipers, do you have enough venom in your bite to more, take down the scorpions? More than enough. These guys can't handle us. All right. All right. So, teams, are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Each show has five challenges where the aim is to win keys. Teams need three keys in order to get the maximum time in the treasure chamber. There, they need to collect as many coins as they can to get through to the tournament final. Let battle commence. We start our contest with one of the fort's most nerve-wracking challenges. Lewis and Ashley are about to edge their way along these two suspended cables across the fort. They aim to be the first to get to their team's cylinder hanging above the cables and shuffle back. Unscrew the cylinder and read the hidden code in order to unlock the box and grab today's first key. Okay, Lewis, Ashley, you guys ready for this challenge? Yep. Yep. All right. On my mark, your challenge starts now. And they're off. Red Viper Ashley and Yellow Scorpion Lewis race through mid-air trying to get that first key. Lewis says he's scared of heights, but he's not doing badly over 50 feet above the fortress floor. Ashley's got his cylinder. Does this mean a first key for the Vipers? Still time, still time, still time. Get your rhythm going, get your rhythm going, Lewis. Get ready to key in the code. Keep up, guys. All right, guys, don't yell over the code. Don't yell over the code. Ashley has a strong lead, but who's going to be first to get that code to their team? Schedule will be first. 2613. The Vipers have their code. Scorpions have got code soon. 4978. 4978. And the Scorpions just behind. 2613. 2613. 4978. Who's got the fastest fingers? Oh, no. The Scorpions take it. Oh, what a yes. thrilling challenge, guys! Hey, let's have another look at some of that action. Wow! Uh, personally, I'm not too afraid of heights. I quite enjoy them. Yeah, you don't realize how high it is until you're up there. Going as fast as you can, shuffling. Once I got to the key, I had to actually, I tried to reach it, but I missed, so I had to scoot up one more time and actually try and grab the key again. It's good once, once you get used to it, the rope bouncing up and down, it's, uh, it's thrilling. Ashley, who was on the other team, he actually beat me to the other side, but through the codes and everything, it was oh, a great teamwork. It was absolutely perfect. Outstanding job, guys. Scorpions. Outstanding. Outstanding. Congratulations. After that first challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. So the Scorpions get the first of the three keys they need to win the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber. Don't be down. There's another challenge. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Come on. Feeling good? Yeah, we feel great. Okay, good. Now, in this room, the key is just out of reach. To get to the key, you need to put the tokens 
through the slot to move it along. Each time you need a token, you need to crawl through the spinning tunnel. So whoever does this challenge might get a little dizzy. Yeah, yeah. Team Captain Ashley, who is going in? I think we'll choose Tashi for Tashi. this one. She's small, she's agile, she'll fly through. Well, Tashi, here is your first token. You're up against the clock too, so keep her aware of how we're doing for time. We really want you to get this key. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here you go. Your challenge. Starts now. Tashi's the youngest member of the Red Vipers. Will she be successful and win her team that all-important first key? I personally want to play the games that involve going through tunnels or um, and going on swings and trying to grab keys from high places. She does a little somersault when she comes out the other end. Yeah. You've got this, Tashi. Oh, that's it. Shove it. They Come need on. this key to win as much time as they can in the treasure chamber. Really needs to make sure she pushes those tokens all the way through. Yeah, Tashi, when you're in there, when you're pushing the token through, try and get right through as far as you can go. You really need this key. Yeah. Tashi, you really need to hurry as fast as you can. You're doing great. Really Tashi must be getting pretty dizzy by now. The tunnel never stops turning. There's not much time left. Could it be the first key for the Vipers? Well done, Tashi. Yeah. How was that? Really exhausting. I was getting out as fast as I can, so, but it was turning around, so it was really hard to get your feet out. So it was much easier just to kind of flip yourself through. Well done. Let's yeah. give it up. Yeah. Well, after that challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. That's even things up. One treasure chamber key for the Scorpions and one for the Vipers. Well done. You got your first key. You ready for another challenge? Yeah. Come on, follow me! 50 feet above the sea, Nathan and Jimmy are about to climb out onto the fortress wall. Once there, they need to edge across as fast as possible to grab the code their team needs to open the box and get that key. Okay, Jimmy, Nathan, your challenge starts now! They're off! Scorpions and Vipers both have one key each, so there's everything to play for high above those crashing waves. This is not good for Jimmy, who is afraid of heights. But Nathan, who loves climbing, takes it in his stride. Be careful. Those footholds are only two inches wide. Look at Nathan go. He's almost at the box. He's there. And he's got the cylinder. Jimmy's struggling to keep up, but he's making a great effort. Jimmy, come on! Right right there. There. Right there. Right there. Let's go, Nathan! Come on, make your way Nathan's on his way back. And Jimmy finally gets to his box. He's got the cylinder, and he's on his way back. Great job, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Now it's a race to get the code back to their teammates. Will Jimmy be able to catch Nathan and get that key? Nathan's coming off the wall, but the challenge is far from over. Okay, guys, get ready. Here he comes. Now he's got to unlock that cylinder. But Jimmy's right behind him. Which team's going to get that code first? And Jimmy's out. Seven, eight, two, six. Come on, spin those dials. You know, we saw what happened before. The Scorpions look like they've got it. Oh, the lines on the wall. Another key to the Scorpions. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Nice job. 
Hey, Number let's two. have another let's look go. at some of that high wire act. It was really high up. That's probably what got me nervous, thinking that I was going to fall even though I was secure. I was just focused on getting to the other side, getting the key as quickly as possible. I actually kept looking down as he was looking up, and I seen him that he was rushing. That kind of motivated me more to go a little faster. Run through the room, unlock the kit, the key to get the code. But I realized that it's not as easy as it looks. Got another key, so it was a really fun challenge. Hey, how you feeling over there, big guy? We are Scorpio, so we are Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! After that challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. At the end of that challenge, it's one treasure key for the Vipers, but now two for the Scorpions. Congratulations, you've got two keys. This yeah. is your chance to really take a lead in the competition. Are you ready for your next challenge? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this challenge is going to take someone to the inner depths of the fort. You're going to have to climb this ladder, get to the top, crawl all the way down the tube, and find a key which is attached to a ball in complete darkness. There may be a few little friends to greet you. Turn around and then crawl all the way back up again. You're up against the clock. Louis, who's up for this challenge? Uh, Jake is. Jake, let's put that on you. Okay. All right, Jake, you got this. Clip that in. There you go. Are you ready? Think so. The time Roger. will begin when you're at the top of this ladder. Okay. Come on, Jake. You Come can on, do Jake. It. You got yeah. this. You so, got Jake, this. your challenge. You got starts. this. Right, Jake, you got it. You got it. Now. Go, 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 go. You got this. Okay. Right. Go. I want to focus more on the physical eye stuff. Like my height will be definitely an advantage, and less on the creepy crawly animal stuff. That's just leaves. Unfortunately for Jake, his height's of no use here as he heads down the tube. Keep going with the arms, really watch it. You have a load of time. It's pitch black in there, he can't see a thing, remember. See anything. You're almost at the bottom. There's Jake, there's rats down there. You're good, keep going, keep, keep going, going, keep going. going. If he wants to get that key, he's going to have to move those rats out of the way. Rather him than me. You got it, Jake. Keep 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 Jake needs to reach through the darkness and hope he finds that key and not those rats. Feel around for the ball. You can get inside there. Climb in. There you go. You got it. So come back. Feel around for the ball. Jake, the rats. He's using his hands to feel around, but he can't find it. Check on your right. He's got it, but he's got to turn around and get back out of that tube. You have more than half time. You have more than half time. You're excellent. If Jake gets this key out in time, Scorpions will increase their lead, giving them more time in the treasure chamber. Climbing back up the tube is far harder than sliding down, but Jake makes it look easy. We are Scorpions! We are Scorpions! We are Scorpions! He's so close to the exit. Can he find it in the darkness? That. A little frightened, I couldn't see anything. I was, I felt one mice. They, they weren't Ooh. mice, they were rats, and they were pretty big. Oh. Uh. After that amazing challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. With three keys, yellow scorpions now have the full time in the treasure chamber. Vipers are still behind with only one. Incredible. Well done. Are you ready for another challenge? Yes. <laughs> Let's go, Scorpions. Come on. Let's go, high place. You have one last chance to win a key. The task is simple. Here we have a glass floating in water in an aquarium. Here we have coins of varying weights. Each team will alternate putting coins into the glass. The first team that makes the glass sink will lose the challenge and the vital last key in today's competition. Vipers, do you understand? Yes. yes sir. Scorpions, do you understand? Yes. Then line them up. Which team will float their way to victory? But more importantly, who will take away the most points from today's encounter in the legendary treasure chamber? Your challenge starts now. So there's a lot of pressure. Uh, being the first one was okay. Um, sort of scary, uh, intimidating, not seeing the other people's technique. Next. Taking, looking around all different corners of the sides of the bowl. <laughs> Okay, well the water level's this high, so I need this coin. <laughs> it was really, it was, it was absolutely excellent. Step away. Next. If you put the coin in, then the cup would float to like the edge of the aquarium, and then you had to put your hand in an awkward position to try and get the coin in as easy and as, and as smoothly as possible. 
I thought that I was going to make the cup sink because I couldn't actually get the coins up because of my nails. Next. Jimmy looks nervous, and the pressure is all on him. And he's got away with it. Nathan confidently takes his coin. He takes his time. Unbelievable. Don't kick the table. Choose your coin wisely. Don't touch the sides. Don't touch the sides. Look at him shake. Scorpions win the last and final key. All right, guys? How you feel about that? Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Still only one key for the Vipers, but a massive three for the Scorpions. And now a bonus key, giving them extra points on the leaderboard. We're going to the treasure chamber. Come on, let's go. Vipers, Scorpions, you are now facing the ultimate challenge. How do you feel about that? Yeah. All right, listen. This is a race to grab coins in the treasure chamber. It is also a chance for you to add points to your leaderboard score. You need three keys to give you the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber. For every key short, there'll be a time penalty. Vipers, how many keys do you have? Just the one. One us. key. Well, well done. It's been a good team effort today. But with that one key, your whole team will have to wait outside of the treasure chamber for 20 seconds. And as a further penalty, one member of your team will have to wait an extra 20 seconds after that. Louis, how many keys has your team got? We've got four keys. Four keys. Right. Well done, guys. Thank Give yourself you. a hand. That's Woo. a great job. So with four keys, you're going to get the full three minutes in the treasure chamber. And for having that fourth key, you're going to get a bonus of 150 coins added to your final total. All right, yeah. So teams, here are your maps. You're going to need those. OK, Good Vipers, luck. Scorpions, I want you guys hitting, sticking, moving, grooving, whining and grinding. Your <laughs> challenge starts now. Here you go. Scorpions are off. When the gates open, our young warriors look for their team crest and use the maps to place the team crest on the right squares on the chamber floor as quickly as they can. Then they go to the tiger's head, and if they've got it right, the key to their treasure chest will drop and they can start collecting coins. Right up here is the next one. Next one right here. Go furiously, man. Go, 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 go. Go like you mean it. In go the vipers, and they've got a lot of ground to make up. Right the Scorpions right. already have their key. Well, hit the next one. The Vipers right. are taking yeah. a long time to complete their map. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Jimmy's in to help his team, but can they catch up with the Scorpions? One more. Where is it? Look at the battle. Where are we going? Where are we going? Scorpions are already on. There, there's your key. There's your key, guys. But they've dropped it. The clock is ticking, It's ticking, guys. Both treasure chests are open, but who will collect the most coins and win the game? Come on, Vipers, you've got a lot of catching up to do here. We're here, Nathan's kind of like stealing the coins. Only with, only with your hands. This is excellent. The gold rush is on for both teams. Time is pressing now, and, they, and, and they just time's running out. Nice haul, nice haul. These coins are essential not only to winning the game, but also getting the highest position on the tournament leaderboard. Only the top two teams will make it to the final. On this next round, you must get out of the chamber. OK, guys, don't get caught in. Both teams have got to get out before the gate closes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Is Jake going to make it? Oh, oh, oh. By the seat of your chinny chin chin. Ah. Let's have a look at some of those key moments. We did really well for the amount of keys that we managed to gather. We got as many coins as we could, just grabbing them with our hands, and the little bars was really hard. It was really close, so I was proud. It was flawless. It's time to tally the take. We're going to start with you guys, Vipers. Let's see what you got. Now, that was a really good haul, because they also had one key. Really good haul. Two time penalties. Yes. Let's see what you got. Nine. 
120. That's a big nice score. Nice work. Nice work, guys. Really nice nice work. Job. Excellent work. 1,120 to yes. beat. You guys got the bonus key. You get 150 coins. <laughs> bonus. Let's see what you got. Another excellent haul. Indeed. Impressive, impressive. Can they beat 1,120, Gina? Very close. Very close. But good jobs, teams. Congratulations to the Scorpions who are today's winners. Yeah! Woo! First leaderboard of the tournament, and the Vipers have 1,120 points. But on top, with 1,280, it's the Scorpions. Until next time, it's goodbye from the mighty Fort Boyard. Join us next time when the Blue Sharks meet the White Falcons here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. We pulled it really close at the end, and, and that's what really surprised me. You don't realize how fast it is until you're actually there, and the anticipation of waiting for the numbers and everything like that, and making sure you're not holding the paper upside down, or you're making sure you're reading the numbers nice and clear. So, well, everyone did an excellent job working together. We will come back even stronger and mightier than before.